I was having some trouble getting Selenium up and running with Chrome on Mac OS Catalina, so I thought I'd post a video showing how I got it working in case anyone else had the same problem. First we need to install Selenium, so I'm going to open up Terminal and type python3-m pip install selenium. I'm getting this output because I already installed Selenium, but if you haven't installed Selenium yet, your output will be different. Next up, we need to download Chrome Driver, so just Google Chrome Driver, or go to the video's description box, I'll link everything there. You need to download the version that matches the version of Chrome that you're using. To check which version of Chrome you're using, click on these three dots, then help, about Google Chrome, we can see here that I'm using version 83. So I'm going to click on this version of Chrome driver, and we want the Mac version. Now it downloads as a zip file, so we just need to double click to unzip it. After it unzips, we have a Chrome driver.exe file. You can put this file wherever you want, but keep in mind you're going to need the path to this file when using Selenium. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop for this demonstration. Double click on the Chrome driver executable to check if it's working. If you get this terminal popping up saying Chrome driver was started successfully, that's great. But if you get a warning that looks like this, you'll need to enter some commands in terminal. Thanks to this Stack Overflow user for providing a workaround for this problem. We need to navigate to the path of Chrome driver, so that's the desktop for me. Then I'm just going to copy and paste this code. Just delete this part at the end and write Chrome driver. and enter. Now Chrome driver should be working without the Apple unverified developer warning. Just double click on the Chrome driver executable to check. I'm just going to open up idle to give a quick demonstration of how to use Selenium with Chrome. From Selenium import web driver browser equals web driver dot Chrome then inside the brackets, we need to put the path of Chrome driver. Then when we press enter, it should open up Chrome to a blank page. We can use browser.get and pass it a string of the website we want to open up, YouTube for example. Okay. That's it. Leave a like if you liked the video. Consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. See you in the next one.